work in the life sciences here in Boston and Cambridge have touched the lives of countless patients, locally, nationally, and internationally. Billions of people, men, women, and children, are alive today because of life-saving, life-altering, and life-sustaining treatments that have emerged from curiosity-based research. Research that's been conducted here and throughout the world. Today, we have treatments for countless life-threatening illnesses. With breathtaking advances in gene editing and tissue engineering, we're on the cusp of developing therapies for intractable diseases. And with collaborators from around the world, we're working to combat contagious diseases that know no borders. The work that originated in these cluttered labs, labs probing the very fundamentals of life, have stimulated new therapies that we now take for granted, therapies that keep us healthy, alive, and well. We work within a unique ecosystem, one that includes collaborations across Harvard, our affiliated teaching hospitals, our sister institutions, and industry. This is important work that's enabled by those who support us, government, philanthropists, and venture capitalists. Our research community draws upon a wide range of disciplines from basic and translational research to behavioral science to engineering and computing. Over the last century, science has made some diseases curable, other diseases treatable, some even forgotten. What will life science give us in the next 100 years? We have the capacity here to transform the world through everything that we do to help reimagine how healthcare might be delivered, not just in the United States, but throughout the world. I imagine a future where health is taken for granted and illness is the exception. Where children are spared of hereditary diseases even before they're born, and where no disease is ever a death sentence.